सर नमस्कार सर नमस्कार हेलो स्क्रीन शेयर इनेबल ना स्क्रीन शेयर सर स्क्रीन शेयर कर स्क्रीन शेयर होता अब इनेबल कर दिए मैं हेलो सुन रख नो बात सर आज सर आज सुन रख क्या चाहिए सर स्क्रीन शेयर गार्नु सर स्क्रीन शेयर उनसे साइड आवा साउंड नहीं आता है नहीं आता साउंड आता है नहीं सर मल तो सुन रहा है सर आज उधर साउंड सही ना आ हमले सुन रख क्या चाहिए सर आज लाइस सर आज तो एक सेट इतने अच्छे गार्नु ना हेलो हेलो हजर सर हम सुन रह सर हेलो हजर हेलो
सर को मैं साउंड आया ना सर कमल दाई सुनी रखे थे सार को साउंड की सुनने सही ना सुनी रखो सही ना यार सार को साउंड सुन रहा था कि सब भाई म्यूट करे रखो ना म्यूट करो सब भाई एक दिन फिर स्टार्ट करो तो आप करे रे स्टार्ट करो ना आ तू बंदा सार ले लीव करे रा आउट है हरी साइड बेटर हो लगी दाई आ सार लाई वो ऑडियो स्टार्ट करो भाग भाग � सौर को स्टार्टे सौर को सुननी तो रहा था हमले चाहिए सौर ले चाहिए हम रो सुनने बात चाहिए ना तो वो कुरा चाहिए सौर ले एयरफोन यूज़ करता बेटर होंगे सौर सुननी रखने बात है हम रो प्रवीण भाई हज़र सौर लाइट चाहिए ऑडियो तो उनसे नहीं स्टार्ट करने हज़र है स्टार्ट करने तो सर ये बहुत आता सर को उतार ऑडियो सर लीजे सुनने बात से ना हम लीजे सुनने आते हैं मैं मैं से सुनने बात से ना फिर स्क्रीन शेयरिंग वही रहा सही ना अल्लाह स्क्रीन शेयरिंग तो उन था सर सुनने रहा था सर ले हम लोग आवाज सुनने बात से की सुनने बात से ना सर हेलो सौर को आवाज सुननी है ना के जैसे हमले से ही सौर को आवाज सुन सम सौर ये हमरा आवाज सुनने वाले ना तो इतनी सौर स्क्रीन शेयरिंग भाई राखो सर हाँ जो सर भाई राखो सर सौर को आवाज सुननी है ना सर तो सौर को उतार को माइक का प्रॉब्लम होगी दाई प्रॉब्लम भाई हाँ जो एक दिन सब पहले आप गौरे रा ऑन गौरे तो फिर ही जोइन होने रिज आई ना आई ना यो साउंड के साउंड सब पहले आप वाले एक्शन ऑन करो तो कल यहाँ पहला एक्शन आई ना समसे कुछ कुछ तो समसे ठुलो भागो है ना तेरा सौर को बाहर आने को सुनने रहा है सौर को चाहिए सौर को मार जाए हम तो साउंड नॉप के को ओके वहाँ सौर को चाहिए उमा समसे सुनने रहा है तो सौर को म्यूट रो अनम्यू तालो बागो स्किन को सालो इन में बागो बटन में बागो साइड में क्लिक करें इसी कॉल भी आये ऑडियो डिवाइस साउंड सर आने त्याग क्लिक करने वाले तोड़ करें आप क्या था फिर एक्चुअली आप करो आन करें पे चुनते सर सॉरी ले हम लोग बोले को सुन दे ही सुन ना भाई नहीं क्या कमल दाई ये ता हम लोग बोल ना बोले को सुने सुनना कैसे नहीं कमल दाई बल्लू सर एक छोटी वोट करना पड़ेगा सुबह सर सुनिए सर तो आजू राजू ला सुनिए ला ठीक से सर ला वो कार्यक्रम शुरू करो पन्नर सर स्क्रीन कार्यक्रम शुरू करो मैं सर आवे शुरू शुरू करो मास माले स्क्रीन शेयरिंग करे आ देखिए सर इन्हें आजू सर स्क्रीन शेयर बाय आजू सर बाय राजू एल्ला हस 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 आ सर प्रथम सवाई मां मेरे नमस्कार आ वहाँ हमरो आज तो जी गेस्ट स्पीकर के रूप में भक्तराज गिरी सर उन्होंने जा आ भक्तराज गिरी सर लाइफ में हमरो तरफ बाटा स्वागत सर धन्यवाद पन दिन चांस जो आप सो अमूल्य समय में शानु समय निकाले रहे हमरो लगे आई दिन भायो आ सर जी हमरो फॉरेस्ट एंड एनवायरनमेंट मिनिस्टर क प्रोजेक्ट में काम करते हैं उन्होंने जा वहाँ से ही फॉरेस्ट ऑफिसर बनी उन्होंने जा हमरो मंत्रा लाए को रा वहाँ लेचे एमएससी फॉरेस्ट इकोनॉमिक्स एंड मैनेजमेंट में करने बाग को था आ रा वहाँ लेचे आइली आ आइली जे आशा प्रोजेक्ट में काफी नुमे ही बस हेरा गरी रखने बाग को था रा ऐसे गरी या वा ह हस आस्थानी बात सर्वप्रथम जो नानेरा सोबियो कैफ्कोल यूनिट ले यूआई होस्टिंग कर रहा है जना गरीब उसे अन्य ऐसे में मलाई संपर्क निमेश बाय मिनेस पायली संपर्क करने बाकी थियो 
वाले पनि धेरै धेरै धन्यवाद दिन चाहन्छु मेरो यो सानो अफसरलाई वहाँले आमन्त्रण गरेर आफ्नो एउटा सानो प्रेजेन्टेसन यहाँहरू समक्ष प्रस्तुत गर्न अवसर दिनु भएकोमा हुन्छ म अब प्रेजेन्टेसनमा जान्छु आजको यो वेबिनारको हाम्रो टपिक छ इम्पोर्टेन्स अफ इकोलोजिकल नलेज इन नेचुरल रिसोर्स म्यानेजमेन्ट भनेर यहाँ दुईटा टर्म इकोलोजिकल म्यानेज इकोलोजिकल नलेज एन्ड नेचुरल रिसोर्स म्यानेजमेन्ट दुईटा टर्म यहाँ युज भएको छ त्यसैले यो यसलाई लिङ्क गर्नको लागि मैले यहाँहरू समक्ष पहिला नेचुरल रिसोर्सको बारेमा सर्ट ब्याकग्राउन्ड म प्रस्तुत गर्नेछु किनभने नेचुरल रिसोर्स के हो अनि कसरी हामीले इकोनलि इकोलोजिकल नलेजलाई रिसोर्स म्यानेजमेन्टमा युज गर्न सक्छु भन्ने हिसाबले यहाँ प्रस्तुत हुनुपर्ने प्रटाउनु पर्ने भएको कारणले गर्दाखेरि म यहाँहरूलाई नेचुरल रिसोर्सको ब्याकग्राउन्डतिर गएँ विशेष गरेर यो प्रेजेन्टेसनमा मैले सर्टली इकोलोजी के हो त व्हाट इज इकोलोजी बाट यहाँहरूलाई सुरु गर्नेछु जुन यहाँहरू अवगत नै हुनुहुन्छ तर यसको शुभारम्भ गर्न पर्ने भएको कारणले गर्दाखेरि मैले सर्टली यसको नर्मल सिम्पल डेफिनेसन दिनेछु अनि नेचुरल रिसोर्स व्हाट इज नेचुरल रिसोर्स एन्ड व्हाट टाइप अफ नेचुरल रिसोर्स वी ह्याभ सम्बन्धमा मैले यहाँहरूलाई ब्रिफ गर्नेछु र त्यसपछि अनि त्यसैलाई जोडेर Why ecological knowledge, or why ecological study is important in the in the management of natural resources? Sammanda maile choto bakya garne chhu. Ra ani ecological footprint sammanda ma pani arle chano zan gari gari bada huni chhu. You presentation outline bo. As ecology, amile sabel thapa gukro. The word ecology derived from Greek word. Ecos means house or place to live. एन्ड लगस मिन्स स्टडी अफ यो हामीले इकोलोजीको सुरुवातदेखि नै हामीले पढ्दै आइरहेका छौँ यसमा धेरै व्याख्या गरिराख्नु पर्दैन देर फर इकोलोजी इज द ब्रान्च अफ बायोलोजी दैट इज स्टडी अबाउट इन्ट्रेक्सन एमङ अर्गानिजम एन्ड देयर फिजिकल इन्भाइरोमेन्ट एन्ड अदर अर्गानिजम विच इन्क्लुड्स द बायोटिक एन्ड एबायोटिक कम्पोनेन्ट अभियसली द इकोलोजी स्टडी इकोलोजी सर्च इकोलोजी फाउन्ड एबाउट इन्ट्रेक्सन बिट्विन Uh, organism to organism and organism to your surrounding physical environment it interact for uh, survival and for uh, selection and for existence in this uh, world therefore uh, during this interaction every organism experience complex relationship to each other this means uh, its species among its species and among different species that leads this means this uh, uh competition this complex relationship leads the organism to a uh, selective pressure that is called uh, natural selection therefore the the ecology always study this fact in his field uh first of all the word ecology was first coined by german scientist ernest haeckel in 1866 uh he is the uh, greek uh, philosopher and ge geologist uh basically and uh, after uh, that in the ancient period uh hippocrates and aristotle well, we assume that they are the foundation of the ecology and uh arnes just coined the term ecology in his period they are, and the, the, he he defined the ecology as the knowledge of some of the relationship of organism and to its physical environment of the surrounding world and the ecology the term ecology was coined by arnis arnis but uh, the father we knows we says the father of ecology uh, is the alexander alexander is the father of ecology after that arnis only coined the term ecology but before the uh, the earnest uh, alexander exposed existing relationship between the observed planet of a uh, uh, near the locality and the climate and the interaction between organism and the climate uh, he exposed or uh, at the first and he described this uh, his study as the vegetation john he, he classified his study uh, according to the study he classified the ecology of vegetation zone uh, using the latitude and longitude 
and therefore the, the idea of the plant geography before the Tom Quine ecology, the Alexander, uh, the, the, his study was idea for the geography he named for his study. It was famous work for Alexander Humboldt. And as I mentioned before, uh, the background of natural resource, because I already mentioned you, uh, the, the importance of ecological knowledge in the management of natural resource. Therefore, I just moved towards the background of natural resource uh, in this respect. And there is a saying, nothing in nature is a resource. Something, uh, some things become resource. This saying explained that in the, sorry, Uh, in this, uh, in, the, in the saying, uh, we can say uh, all things we have in the environment or in the nature are not. Right. All the things found in the nature, all the things we have in the nature in the environment are not resources, and these things. We become a resource. This this saying uh, was clear. This definition of natural resource. Therefore, uh, we can say what is natural resource. Then to become a natural resource, a specific attribute of the environment that valued or have proven useful for human. This means that a natural resource, that resource found in the environment, which add value for the humankind, and have proven these are useful for the uh, mankind or they are potential for usefulness for mankind those specific attribute found in the environment we can say these are natural resources therefore natural resources are gift of nature for the mankind and uh, they uh, mankind potentially use those resources to create a material worth in in uh, in her survival or for their existence and uh, the, for the existence of the welfare of the humankind, we use the resources which are natural gifted. And um, obviously, we know that we always rely, we always rely on natural resources. Our natural resources are the life support unit of our, of the uh, this world, of the living world. As for example, here. Uh, we we can take breath using air and water. This is the uh, fundamental things of the living being or living nature and soil. And uh, all things we we grow in the soil and we use uh, soil or we use earth uh, for the shelter in our life. And therefore, we use this resource in different ways to fulfill our needs and wants in in our life. Uh, in this way, the natural resources are classified uh, into two ways, two main ways. Uh, first one is on the basis of origin. <clears throat> on the basis of origin, we categorize, we divided the natural resources in two ways, abiotic uh, natural resources and biotic natural resources. Abiotic natural resources, we already know, air, water, sunlight, and mineral, all type of mineral like iron, gold, silver, copper, titanium, diamond, etc., are the abiotic um, natural resource. Then another one, biotic natural resource. <coughs> Sorry, animals, plant, and fossil fuel, which we are using and which we are. These are the biotic natural resource. And another way, on the basis of reliability that the natural resource can be classified into also two types, renewable resource and non-renewable resource. Uh, first of all, renewable resource, I move on that. Renewable resource are natural resource that can be replenished in a short period of time. There is a, a quite a typical term, short period of time. We can replenish, we can regrowth, we rejuvenate, we revive 
the natural resource after using in a short period of time again and again. Such type of natural resource, we can see renewable natural resource. Therefore, the typical word, uh, you should take mine short period of time. For example, tree or forest or woodland, these are the natural resource. We cut the forest, we consume the forest, and when in normal condition, with its carrying capacity, the forest again revive, again regenerate into the uh, previous stage. Therefore, it is called natural, uh, renewable natural resource. And uh, oxygen already, uh, it is um, a renewable natural resource. Uh, like wind energy or wind, it is also a natural, uh, renewable natural resource. And water, gives uh, water by nature, uh, we uh, generate hydroelectricity through water also. And solar power, solar radiation, we use uh, the solar radiation as a power by applying uh, the solar panel. And geothermal energy in some countries, uh, geothermal energy also used as a renewable natural resource. And these are also, um, we can see, we can classify as acceptable and inacceptable. Uh, for example, oxygen is inacceptable. We use, uh, how much we use, but it never indeed, for example, oxygen or air. Uh, therefore, these re resources regrow or re uh, renew themselves in a short period of time. Therefore, those resources which renew or regrowth in a short period of time again and again, again, when we consume such type of natural resource, we can say these are renewable natural resources. You can see in the uh, right hand side, there are different type of uh, natural, renewable natural resources in the photos. And non-renewable natural resource, those uh, resources that cannot be re readily replaced. This means we cannot replenish or re uh, revive those resources in a short period of time when we consume once. Therefore, when uh, we consume it once, it may be depleted forever. This means to create it uh, uh, thousands or millions years, are passed to, to create in a specific condition only. Therefore, non-renewable natural resources are those resources. For example, uh, metal ore, metal ore found in the earth, those are the non-renewable natural resources. When we consume them and they depleted after year quantity or after year capacity, and then earth mineral uh, like that, and fossil fuel, we are uh, nearly in the world uh, the, the, the data told that nearly 84% uh, consume petroleum fossil fuel in the world uh, right now. Uh, petroleum, gas, and coal. And uh, groundwater having a specific aquifer. The, the, this groundwater, which have limited aquifer, this is, uh, this, this, this is also categorized in non-renewable natural resource. This is the, uh, some terms. Uh, why, what is the difference between renewable and non-renewable natural resource? This means in the, uh, renewable natural resource, we can replace by natural process in a short period of time, short amount of time, and we can recycle or reuse them. In the other hand, we cannot re uh, reuse or replace in a short period of time uh, and millions of years takes for the uh, uh, to create an, uh, the non-renewable natural resource. And natural, uh, renewable natural resource can be reused or recycled, and non-renewable natural resource we cannot reuse or recycle. And some of examples I already mentioned also, wind energy and solar energy, hydroelectricity, geothermal, these are the natural, uh, renewable natural resource. In other hand, some of the example, a petroleum product, or fossil fuel, uh, nuclear um, energy, natural gas are the uh, example of non-renewable natural resources. And another important fact that when we consume nat uh, renewable natural resources, it does not harm to the environment. Specifically, uh, when we uh, use, when we consume it in managed way, uh, it uh, they does not harm to the environment because they are reused. In other hand, when we consume natural, uh, non-renewable natural resource, 
they use harm done in the environment because of harmful emission when we use, when you consume the non-renewable natural resource. Therefore, these are the difference in renewable and non-renewable natural resource. And those uh, natural resources are the basis of economy. First of all, natural resources are the basis of survival of the mankind, uh, as well as animal in the in global. And after that, natural resources are the basis of economy of the nation and in the whole, um, this is worldwide, in the whole world. This means natural resources are the very uh, potential, very uh, essential things for humankind, for his advancement, for his survival first, and then for his advancement um, uh, in the world. And these are we achieve uh, from uh, ecosystem or from the environment as a ecosystem services like purifying water, different kind of, uh, especially four type of ecosystem services we derive um, from the environment. But due to huge population and um, other anthropogenic, uh, anthropogenic factor, we are degrading the ecosystem um, uh, and destroying the habitat and generating pollution in the world. Uh, this is the short background of the natural resource and uh, how we can manage the natural resource using the ecological knowledge or ecological study, how we linked ecological study, ecological knowledge to manage those natural resources. I'm going to move forward on that. <clears throat> in normal condition, in normal condition, nature or ecosystem balance the, uh, balance this, this the world, these resources. But when the anthropogenic activities badly impacted the uh, ecosystem or environment, then uh, the, the, the natural resource or the nature is disbalanced because of anthropogenic causes. Therefore, when we study in eco about ecology or when we gain the knowledge about ecological study, ecological knowledge when we gain, then we use those ecological knowledge, the study, to conserve the natural resource in a proper way. Because ecological knowledge or ecological study understand us or um, depict us that how human activities can influence those eco uh, ecological process. We know after the study of the ecology. Therefore, when we know about the ecology, uh, ecological condition or the relationship between the organism and its uh, physical environment, we can create some sort of um, uh, solution of conservation for natural resource. And during the study of ecology, during the ecological study, uh, there is a, a well-known thought that TEK, traditional ecological knowledge is a valuable and essential component to reaching our conservation goal. It is saying that it refers, what is a TEK? This means it's referred to the evolving knowledge acquired by the indigenous people or local people over hundreds and thousands of years uh, with direct contact with the environment. They know what is the interrelationship between uh, uh, organism and the physical environment, they already know because they are experienced thousands of years in their life. Therefore, during the ecological study, we combine this uh, indigenous knowledge of the people, our traditional ecological knowledge in, well, with scientific ecological um, study and uh, this prepare of scientific fact, which we use to manage natural resource accordingly. In this way, uh, the, the ecological knowledge or ecological study is very important to conserve our uh, natural resource, to conserve our earth uh, in, in this world. Uh, the another importance of ecological study uh, is when we study the rare and declining species in the world, in the universe, or in the ecosystem, then we gain some knowledge about this rare declining species. And according to this knowledge, we can immediate use this knowledge to design the natural area 
uh, as a the, uh, protective or conservative uh, point of view when they were this one and the development of management plan and accordingly when we manage the natural area and then prepare a management plan accordingly according to the need of the ecosystem and to make healthy ecosystem uh, for example there is a study uh, conducted by uh, Sresh et al. in 1999, Sresh et al. group in Lamtang National Park. Uh, there is a pika, Okuntai uh, species. It related to the hare or uh, rabbit um, mammal, a small rabbit mammal. Uh, especially, it is confined in Hindakus Himalaya region. The study says that, the study depicts that it is found in Hindakus Himalayan region and western mountain of America. And in case of, in, in context of Nepal, it is, uh, it is reported is it is found in Sagarmatha National Park, Lamtam National Park, Rara uh, National Park, Annapurna Conservation Area, Makalubarun Conservation Area. These are the hot spot where the pika was, uh, is found in these uh, countries. And here is a, uh, a study uh, uh, conducted by uh, Sresta et al. and Kanal uh, and etc. Uh, this the, this pika is extremely uh, temperature sensitive because it has uh, it has very thin skin with hair and it is non another characteristic of pika is non hibernative species pika is a non hibernating species during the hibernation period they cannot hibernate uh, it is the character peculiar characteristic of pika and uh, the, the research Smith 1974, uh, uh, the Smith found that the pika's temperature, body temperature, is three, uh, two to three degrees higher than the other mammal inhabiting in the same uh, rock slide. This means where the pika inhabit, the uh, pika's habitant, other small mammals found in with their uh, surroundings the pika's body temperature is two to three degrees higher than other. This means the pika is suffer from hyperthermia or maybe death when is exposed to an ambient temperature about 25 to 20, uh, 29.4 degree centigrade. When is exposed to a, um, uh, this ambient temperature, death may occur in pika. Therefore, the pika is the indicator of climate change. It is saying that the research uh, found that pika, uh, the ecological study of pika, or it is the indicator of climate change in case of Nepal also, the study found. And another, uh, Sresh et al, they found that uh, pika uh, use nearly 33 plants, hops, sops, and grasses they use as a food, and they also consume uh, flower and fruit. In this context, they, when uh, they, uh, this re uh, searched in the hay heap used by pika and some leguminous species because they use some seed also and some leguminous plant from its drooping, they, they grow in a drooping of the pika and this means it helps dispersal of seed of certain uh, this uh, hub or shrub plant species. This means there is a, a very close interrelationship between pika and your environment and to the other uh, the organism uh, the, within this eco ecological uh, benefit. This means when we, when we study about the pika, this rare animal, and we found this knowledge to manage proper management of the pika in its surrounding part. This is the uh, point. And according to Khanal, in another interrelationship of pika uh, to its physical environment that some birds like Hums ground jay and scaly-breasted uh, scaly rain babbler and snowfish lizard, uh, lizard and squirrel, these are the inbreeding, breeding habitat of those animal in the burrow of pika uh, during when he made the burrow. This means the, the pika's burrow use those other animal as a 
breeding habitat. This means direct relationship to other animal. This means Pika is a keystone species of the Alpine region or Himalayan region to conserve the biodiversity. When uh, the knowledge of ecological knowledge of Pika's habitat or Pika's behavior, we don't know about the ecological knowledge, we already lost the other animals also. Therefore, this ecological study, when we study about the rare animal like Pika and other such animal, we interlink this uh, ecological characteristic to other animal to rehive and to, to create, to um, develop the biodiversity of this region. Therefore, uh, the ecological knowledge is very important uh, for uh, creation, for um, development and conservation of biological uh, biodiversity in the Himalayan region and other region where the uh, creature found. Another uh, point is ecological knowledge can help us avoid mistake made by past civilization. Uh, here is an interesting uh, the, this is fact, interesting findings uh, of Chilean Iceland, which is called Easter Iceland. There is a, the, the, the findings, is an interesting finding. Uh, the, he can help avoid the mistake of past civilization. Uh, Easter Island, it is a Chilean island situated in the southeastern Pacific Ocean of uh, Chile. And in the beginning, nearly 13th to 16th century, back of 13th, 16th century, uh, there is an uh, indigenous people which are called Rama Nui, this indigenous people. Uh, they, they made some extant monumental statue here now. Recently, there are nearly 900 extant monumental statues there also. At that time, the Rananui people destroy their forest. They, 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 nowadays, when the pollen analysis, this ecological analysis, ecological study, pollen analysis when conducted, then it is found that those Rananui people destroy, completely destroy their forest, deforestation they made at that time. And due to the deforestation, they destroyed his whole society at that time. And that almost all Ramani people are die, and some are migrate in another uh, place because they destroy well for a massive deforestation they, they took at that time. This means this deforestation is the means of destroy the whole society of the Ramanui people at that time. They study the pollen analysis is called that. And when Easter Island was discovered by the European in 1722, this means it was a barren landscape and there is no tree over than 10 feet. This means um, uh, in nowadays there is uh, some low height uh, palm tree only found at that time. And in case of other animal, except rabbit, no animal found in the Easter uh, Iceland recently also nowadays. <clears throat> Therefore, um, uh, this, this, uh, study, this ecological study told us that when uh, the, this means the deforestation, how the civilization took place at that time, and what is the demerit of, of this civilization, of this uh, event, of the activities of, the, uh, of those humankind. We know about after the ecological study, then fallen grain analysis is called uh, for that place. Uh, same as we can do some other such type of study in other area, and we can learn we can uh, produce some fact of past civilization. What is the impact of those uh, work happen uh, in the past? And we can manage after taking the knowledge of ecological uh, this study. And another point is through ecological knowledge, the emphasis is put on how every organism need other for peace coexistence. This means ecology itself is an interaction between the, among the organism and its uh, the physical environment we already mentioned. Therefore, the study, ecological study, uh, 
uh, through the ecological study, we know that how every organism needs other, interact each other and for coexistence. When having no idea of ecological knowledge, if we have no idea about the ecological knowledge, we, we are responsible for degradation of the natural resource. This means we have no idea how to manage natural resource. Then when we gain, when we study, ecological study we conduct, then we gain knowledge of ecological study and we made idea how we can conserve our uh, degraded land and environment and uh, which is the living place of another. If there is no idea of ecological study, then we destroy, we degrade the land environment and we also ultimately degrade the life of other uh, life species from this environment. In this right side, in the, the schematic diagram, uh, you can see there are three types of uh, component in the environment, biological, cultural, and physical environment. And to balance the world, to balance the ecosystem of the world, of the universe, the three components are coexistence. This means balance between three components is essential. Therefore, how we manage this uh, these three components each other with coexistence way. It, it says uh, when we conduct the uh, ecological study and when we gain the ecological knowledge, then we action towards it. How we balance the three components uh, for the betterment of the ecology or of the ecosystem. And know about the ecological footprint. This means ecological study also very important for, um, uh, for knowing about the ecological footprint. And what is ecological footprint? I just mentioned uh, some points. Uh, the ecological footprint is a measure of human demand on the earth. This means the ma it measures ecological footprint. Uh, it's the uh, unit is a global hectare, GAC. It is, uh, uh, it, it is measured in a global hectare as a, as a unit. And when ecological footprint measure how much nature we have and how much nature we use. It, it, the ecological footprint uh, this starts that things or mention that things. And the ecological study, when we study uh, the ecological footprint through the ecology and it helps to the country improve sustainability and well-being. It is the responsibility of the country. It helps the country improve his natural resource in sustainable way and uh, to, for the well-being of the society. The country should think after knowing the ecological footprint. This means ecological footprint, this, 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 uh, uh, this knowledge is gained through the ecological study. Therefore, when we gain the knowledge of ecological footprint, uh, a country can uh, think about how I, well, I can improve my resource sustainably and uh, how I can make this, uh, this, uh, this society, community well-being. And ecological footprint also helps to local leader to optimize public project investment. This means it is the, uh, for example, it is the very dangerous thing uh, today's in Nepal, haphazardly construction of the uh, road, haphazardly construction of the, uh, the, the irrigation project, haphazardly construction of the hydropower without thinking the uh, environmental impact of the um, impact in the nature. Therefore, when we uh, study the ecological study, then find some knowledge of ecological study through the ecological study, a local leader, this the footprint help to local leader to optimize public project investment. This means how, how much I invest and uh, how I uh, prepare this plan. The local uh, leader think about this through the uh, footprint, this uh, uh, ecological footprint. And ecological footprint also help individual to understand their impact on the planet. This uh, ultimately, uh, each people consume the resource from the earth and when the resource, generation of resource, 
um, the capability of resource, the carrying capacity of resource is less and the individual consume more, then ultimately the ecological disbalance may occur. Therefore, when we uh, study the ecological, when ecology find out the ecological footprint, then this knowledge help individual to understand how much I use the resource and how I can make balance in the nature of, the, of, of using the natural resource, the individual can understand from the ecological footprint. This means the ecological footprint find through the ecological study and it gives us the knowledge about natural resource. And therefore, we are using nowadays, um, the, the fact of nowadays, we are using 30% more of the planet resource than available in a sustainable basis. This means uh, the, the, the world population using the natural resource is much more than created by the nature itself. The 30% more planet resource we are using, the research found that. Therefore, uh, this means it is the fact of ecological study or ecological uh, knowledge. We give some uh, fact or clue that we should manage our world. We should manage our ecological footprint to survive in this world. This ecological knowledge tells us about that. Without ecolo ecological knowledge, we cannot know about this fact and we use haphazardly this resource uh, ultimately and uh, make imbalance in the ecosystem or environment. An ecological, uh, this is ecological overshoot. This means uh, how much stress in ecological uh, the, the resource. The ecological deficit, human has been overshoot since uh, 1970s. Since 1970s, uh, the, the disbalance between the resource and the consumption occur uh, after the 1970s. And today's humanity use the equivalent nearly 1.75 earth we are using. This means surpass the earth capacity. The earth generates very few and the population in the world is consuming more, one, more and more resource from this world. And that's 1.75 means we have one earth, but we are using 1.75 earth in this context. This means the ecological uh, study found that this ecological footprint and alert us, we need to uh, the, this we need ba make balance between the resource use and resource generation. This this ecolog ecological knowledge alert us in this way. And ecological footprint of some country, uh, this there is a. Uh, ecological footprint also vary according country to country. Uh, nowadays, the maximum uh, footprint is uh, Luxembourg, this 15. And every, uh, if everyone consume the amount of resource of US does, we need about 4.5 or this means the ecological the footprint, ecological footprint of US is high. Then when all around the population, all around the world, we consume as a basis of US people, then nowadays we need 4.5 R for to, to, to fulfill our demand of a natural resource, it says. And here is some <coughs> ecological footprint facts. Uh, this resource is 2020. And Luxembourg, the highest footprint uh, figure, uh, the 15.82 global hectare per person per capita and US 8.22 hectare per capita and Russia 5.65 and Switzerland 5.79 and Japan 5.02, France 5.14 and China 3.38. But Nepal has uh, very limited uh, this ecological footprint 0 0.98 per uh, global hectare per person. Well, this means we use resource, consume resource a uh, very low amount as compared to the other country. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, sir.
अब क्वेश्चन एंसर को पार्ट आगे इफ क्वेश्चन एंसर यू कैन टाइप ऑन दी चैट बक्स और रेज एंड हम क्वेश्चन एंसर सेंसन अगड़ी बढ़ा क्वेश्चन एंसर सेंसन अगड़ी हजार चैट बक्स में लेखन सकूँ हैंड रेज कर अनम्यूट कर दी डाइरेक्ट सर क्वेश्चन सोच सकूँ क्वेश्चन खास आएन सर सायद सब जाना बुझ् आई मीन एकदम राम टपिक थे क्योंकि हम सर इकोलॉजी नलेज क्वेश्चन आक क्वेश्चन आज इकोलॉज इकोलॉजी को नलेज नेचुरल रिसोर्स मैं नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस में मैनेज करना कसरी यूज करने किस इंपोर्टेन्स बारे में सोच्भा टाशी तामंगजी ने हेन्डरेज कर सर मनम्यूट कर दी वहाँ प्रश्न सोच्ह हाई फर्स्ट अफ अल आई रह थैंक यू सो मच सर फर योर वंडरफुल प्रेजेंटेशन थैंक यू थैंक यू माय क्वेश्चन इज रिगार्डिंग टू द रिपोर्ट ऑफ निजगढ़ एरिया वेयर अ टीम ऑफ एक्सपर्ट इकोलॉजिकल एक्सपर्ट दे मेड अ रिपोर्ट वेयर दे हैव स्टेटेड दैट एनिमल्स लाइक पीका गोरल Uh, exist there about the uh, ecological about the uh, eco ecology in the nisgard area so what do you think this uh, this animal exists there in nisgard where we have studied that uh, pigas goral and other animals they mostly uh, found in uh, himalayan and highly mountain regions so what do you think about Nis this? nisgard yes nisgard uh, pig pika babe uh, pika and goral And uh, yeah, there is some study about it. Uh, yes, we, we, we can say the, we cannot say without a study, right? Because these yes. are already pika and goral are found in alpine region, especially not uh, yes, okay. above the, the middle of the Nepal. Then when they are found in Nisgard, it is a very attractive uh, this research. It yes, may uh, be. Uh, there was a report in online media where I studied about that. and in the report it was stated that in nisgard uh, animals like pika goral are also found uh, yeah, yeah what is the what is the cause of downward movement of this animal and any any fact in the study paper no sir there was not any fact but uh, it was only stated that if we uh, cut all the trees uh, the existence of this animal we may lost this animal from the forest like that uh deforestation this means deforestation lead them to move downward uh the de deforestation may move them to uh, extinct from nisgard but not about yeah, the yeah, movement yeah. of the animals but yeah, the, of yeah. course this, this is of course because uh, habitat destruction is the main cause this means habitat destruction yes. and prey species uh, there is a ecosystem linkage interaction between the uh, environment and the other uh, organism this is the main cause of this one so, so but do you think so interesting uh, yeah yeah do you think yeah. this animal uh, can live in such a uh, low land area uh, but like uh, in the recent recent time i cannot because a uh, climate change is becoming also right and that the, the, the habitat shift is upward from the from the world in normal theory due to the climate change the habitats the shifting of the living thing is going upward therefore uh, it is a very attractive and interesting research uh the when we we can do there and we we just found this uh, fact of that uh, i cannot say the uh, recent now uh, i i cannot say that they move towards the uh, low land from the high the alpine region because their natural uh, habitat is alpine region of goral and pika especially thank you sir that was what i was okay thank thank you thank you Thank you for this information. Also, um, sir, today uh, Gautam Ji le process on the back. Sir, sir, Namaskar. Locust swarm attack le Nepal ko ecology le kothi saman disturb kar la. And uh, what is going bring in? Uh, what is going bring in the near 
फ्यूचर एंड इट्स कंट्रोल मेजर भन्ने सोध्नु भएको छ अझै गौतम जीले अ यो यो ससलाको कुरा हो हजुर कुन स्पीसिस भन्नु भो अ लोकस स्वाम अटैक ले नेपालको इकोलोजी ले कति सम्म डिस्टर्ब लोकस स्वाम अटैक ले अ भनेपछि बुझेन मैले अ वाइल लेख्नु भएको छ लोकस स्वाम अटैक ले नेपालको इकोलोजी लाई कति सम्म ए यो 23 तत्काल आंध्र प्रदेश में भारत को हम एग्रीकल्चर एकदम सेम एग्रीकल्चर एग्रो इकोनॉमिक एग्रो इकोलॉजिकल जोन हमीस टाँसि इंडिया रामस टाँस लगभग ग्रेन सीमिलरिटी हम सेम पैटर्न में तो कारण इकोलॉजी नेपाल को इकोलॉजी र इंडिया को इकोलॉजी सेम भाग कारण इसलिए हमें असर नपार भाई सर थैंक यू तेगरी तेम्बा लुंदुक गुरु ने प्रश्न सो थैंक यू सर फर योर वंडरफुल प्रेजेंटेशन वहाँ को प्रश्न के तीन टाइम इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट छ्लूडिंग अंडर कंस्ट्रक्शन जो मैं नेचर माइना को उदाहरण दू ने रिशोर्स फर मैन का एट मेरा था नेचुरल रिशोर्स फर मैन काइंड यदि मं रहो रे डेवलपमेंट भो नेचुरल रिशोर्स आवश्यक इसको मतलब हमें तेल फाड़ने भाई होना किस को सब्सिट्यूट में तेई बराबर को सब्सिट्यूट में हमें अंत उत्पादन करने रिकास अगि बढ़ा पर्ने स्थिति देखि क्योंकि मन्य यार माइना बस कारण मदाहरण दू मो को पाला में चाइना में अब पैला हमें बुझ सुने का छु पढ़े छो लिटरचर एवटे शहर में चार लाख मंे भोकमरी ने मरे अस्त अवस्था में ते बेला मओ ने फरेस्ट रिशोर्स जो फरेस्ट रिशोर्स एकदम इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ को लगी उनके भन न पूरे डेस्ट्रो करने हिसाब से नहीं फाड़े फाड़ने भन्ना फिर तो अनियमित होना आप देश को इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ करना को लगी उनके फरेस्ट रिशोर्स यूज करे अभी तो रिशोर्स इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ बढ़ो डेवलपमेंट का काम अगि बढ़ाए रब डेवलपमेंट इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ बढ़ो फरेस्ट बा अरु डेवलपमेंट एक्टिविटीज अगड़ी बढ़े ते पच्छी चाइना मथि गयो रुन प्रेसिडेंट सी जिनपिंग होते ठैक्क उल्टो के सीचुएसन ने टाइम फ्रेम लेको अिजिंगपिंग को टोटली फोकस इन्वाइरोमेंट इन्वाइरोमेंट हमें टोटली कंजर्व कर पर्च रही जो हम एस्थेटिक भैल्यू भू एस्थेटिक भैल्यू मत इसको प्रयोग करने होने वहाँ अब रिवर्स आपको पॉलिसी इंट्रोड्यूस कर इस अब टाइम टाइम सीरिज गवर्न कर जो मैं लगता है हमें डेस्ट्रोय करने तो होना हमी नेचुरल रिशोर्स अथवा अच्छा फरेस्टी बैकग्राउंडम हमी काम करने मं भाका कारण नेचुरल रिशोर्स एकदम हाफाजर्डली एकदम अनम्यनेज वे में डिस्ट्रोय करना तो मिलते हैं पक्की तर फिर नेचुरल रिशोर्स बचा के नाम में फिर डेवलपमेंट एकदम ठूल ठूल डेवलपमेंट में हमें रोक्न भी हुन तब तो पारलली डेवलपमेंट रटेनेबल भन न सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट हमें अगर बढ़ाते जानूपो सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट बी डेवलपमेंट रिमेन्टल प्रोटेक्शन में हमें संग संग अगड़ी बढ़ाऊ मन भिटी पक्की अब तो एवं एयरपोर्ट अथवा दुईटा एयरपोर्ट बनाऊ में हम नेचुरल रिशोर्स डिग्रेड होते हैं तर समस्या हम एटिच्यूड को मैं देखे मैं ठैक्क ये विरोध कर मध्य को पढ़् यहाँ मैं ये अवगत कराए नेचुरल ने परंपरा के भैर विस का लगी होना कुछ व्यक्ति का स्वाथ का लगी यदि रिशोर्स यूज करना थालियो व्यक्ति का स्वास्थ्य का पार्टी का स्वाथ का लगी रिशोर्स यूज करना थालियो डिस्ट्रेक्ट करना थाली तो एकदम हार्मफुल हो रहा तेरा हमें दिन हूं एट थाउट भो तर राष्ट्र का विस का लगी हो हमें सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट लगे अगड़ी बढ़ा लिंबा डेवलपमेंट एलंग विथ 
इन्वाइरोमेंट प्रोटेक्शन संग लिंने खास प्रभाव पार्दे जो मैं अज गौतम जी ने सर फिर अगि नई सलाह को जोड़े प्रिवेन्ट कर सकता तो भू ना भर भाग सर के सर सलाह सलाह सर सलाह लिवेन्ट कर सकता भूम भाई सलाह 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 को खास उपाय छेन जिस को अब पैला विभिन्न हमें सुने थे बेला बेला आने ये कोरोना जस्त महामारी हो तो एग्रिकल्चर फील्ड को लगी है अब सब भाग हमी सकता रिशोर्स ने सको नेटिंग सब भाग राो हो आप क्रपर जाँच क्रप डैमेज करने हो तेज तो क्रप भक्त ठाव में यदि हमसा रिशोर्स हमें सकता नेटिंग कर हम तत्किन तो तत्काल को लगी हो सद को लाई हो प्रश्न आए नंडे एक घंटा को जो क्लास चलाय सर अंतिम में मार्यक्रम टुंगाने तीर लग्सु सर अंतिम में कहीं भन्न सर प्लिज ठीक है ठीक है एकदम अब मैं जो आखिर फरेस्ट नहीं पढ़ा हो है मेटौड़ा बड़ा कहीं हेटौड़ा बड़ मैं आईसी करें अभी पोखरा बट बीएससी करें मैसठी में निस्कें रही लगभग एक डेढ़ डेढ़ वर्ष जी भैं मस्टर्स ब्रिजिंग ठीक है साथी जो कार्यक्रम अज अनेरा सो बिऊ यो कैफ कैफकोल जो यूनिट ने यह आयोजना यो विद्यार्थी भाई बहनी एकदम फ्रुटफुल होता पक्की क्योंकि यो लकडाउन को बेला यो लकडाउन को समय में हम पढ़ने हेबिट नहीं सुत्ने हेबिट पढ़ने हेबिट खाने हेबिट नहीं बिग्री सको तेल जो यहाँ यो इनिशिएसन लिखा इस पक्की हम जो बहनी भाई वहाँ एकदम आपको स्टडी लेगुलरिटी दिन में इस पक्की एटा इटा थप्नी भाई मैं लगे और यह अपर्चुनिटी दिव यहाँ अज धे धन्यवाद यदि ये अब मसंग मेटेरियल भाग कुरो रेरो नलेज में भाग कुरो यहाँ अनुरोध करूँ मू फिर प्रयास करने थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच फर योर इनिशिएसन अब म भोलि को हम प्रोग्राम छो बारे में नहीं थोड़े अनाउंसमेंट कर दी द स्ट्रगल फर राइनो कंजर्वेशन एंड इंपैक्ट अफ एंटी पोचिंग अपरेशन इन भाई टपिक में हम भोलि प्रोग्राम छमल जंग कुमार सर को प्रोग्राम छ इसगरी म आज को कार्यक्रम यहीं अंत्य सरसंग सर फेरी भी एक पटक धन्यवाद दीद आज का कार्यक्रम यहीं अंत्य चाहूँ सर धन्यवाद थैंक यू फर सब सब साथी नमस्कार थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर